Hey everyone and welcome back to another Jazzy Wicks video. Today I have come over to Lakeside, Furrock again um, in Essex. So I'm going to go and have a little look um, in HomeSense. And I think I'm going to go and have a look in TK Maxx as well because it's just sort of across the road. Um, not sure what I'm going to find. I went to the Basildon um, TK Maxx at Pips Hill um, last week but I didn't even do a video. They basically had nothing. It was empty in there selling off old christmas stuff there was no ray done um it was a really poor show so i thought i finished work at one on a friday i thought i'll make the effort i'll drive over to um Furruk and i'd have a little look in the home sense and tk maxx here hopefully find some easter goodies i really want to do like a little easter display i've got a few yankee candle bits but now i'm obsessed with ray dunn i want to get a few ray dunn bits as well um yeah just see if they've got any bits that were better than pips hill really see if we are going to get any ray dunn goodies coming in to the uk for easter maybe valentine's as well i'll be keeping an eye out for that um the pips hill basildon tk max their candles as well there must have there was no dw there was no ray dunn it was not an impressive selection so that's why i thought i'd come over here and have a little mooch car park's really empty it's super super windy out today so i'm gonna go in there looking like a wreck and i haven't got a coat i'm gonna be cold but let's go in there and let's go and have a look at home since first okay so i am doing a voiceover for this just because it's always a bit noisy to talk in the store so they had loads and loads of greenery lots and lots of plants artificial they they had some real ones but um most of them artificial tons of it look at it Probably the most like floral, flowery arrangements I've ever seen in Home Sense. Absolutely tons of them. This is where um, a lot of the Christmas stuff had been, so they have started to change it all over. Just show you some of the prices and the little different bits they've got in there, just in case um, you do want to go there and get anything. They had obviously this little bit here. I'll go back to that. So some very strange Easter ornaments there. Pig with bunny ears holding an egg. 5.99 don't quite know what you do with these because they look like christmas tree ornaments but what do you hang them on it's for easter um range of different prices there not overly expensive but they're like a felt little felt teddies and some normal teddies there they had these little um egg trees here on the side i suppose if you spread them out they might look a little bit more interesting they look a bit um a bit sad and sorry for themselves for me Nice little Easter display, though. I do think you could bend the branches out and make uh, make it look a little bit prettier. Then we've got some Easter wreaths. I was really thinking about getting one of these, but I just thought, oh, you just don't need it. It was this one down here. I absolutely loved this big bunny one. That was my favourite one. I wish I kind of wish I would have got it, but I really did not need it. $14.99. Not a bad price for how big it was. They had some other ones there, the pom-pom one, a few different styles, the bunny one there on the side that's got like the fake greenery on it, a smaller pom-pom one. They had these cute Easter baskets as well, a few other little bits, some decorative eggs there, not tons, lots of different style eggs, Six ninety nine, I think that just said, the Easter baskets. $9.99. They, they was quite a big size as well. They was really soft. I think they're really nice to get for the kids um, if you're going Easter egg hunting. Easter gonks down there. A few different styles. Bit of a poor show, but maybe they are uh, still getting it out. Some more eggs there. I do hope they get more than this. I really liked these pastel ones, but again, I just thought for the price, you just don't need some polystyrene Easter eggs. They had loads of plant pots of strange cat statue. I loved this bunny again, showing you it because it's kind of Eastery, but the price fifty quid. It was big, but wasn't nice enough for me to warrant spending that on it. Loads and loads of plant pot bits. Obviously, getting all the summer bits in as well. They had some Christmas bits on sale here, so I'll just show you the prices just in case. Uh, it's just interesting to see how much they charge for it before Christmas to how much they try and sell it off for. Quite a few different bits there. 
I feel like I'd still gone a bit too early. I feel like I was sort of... I feel like I'm still too early for Easter, but if any Ray Dunbits come out, I don't want to miss them. £2 and £1.50 for some of the old ornaments. £1.30, that one. Some Christmas wreaths on sale. Oh, and I did get them for my tree, but I'll show you that in the haul at the end. Some more wreaths. Lots of Christmas pillows they was uh, trying to get rid of and some Disney ones in there. Tons of Christmas pillars, tons. And there's my uh, my little basket. So I found these candles on sale. So a couple of Halloween ones in there and some uh, Christmassy ones. Devastated that this one didn't have the lid for it. £7 Ray done. I would have got that just to even be decorative, but they didn't have the lid. Somebody had lost the lid for it. DW Snowman one there on sale as well, £4. He was cute, but I didn't get him. Another Ray Dunn there. Dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. I don't know if I could... Uh, did I manage to get the... No, I couldn't. I don't think I could see the scent for that because I had my phone in my hand. I was struggling. So some cute ones down there. A smaller Ray Dunn. A Christmassy one. Vanilla Spice, I think that just said. Then they had this slightly larger one here saying it's lit. And I did put that in my basket, but I took it out because I just thought... I don't need to review any more Christmas Ray done, and I didn't like the jar enough to keep it as a decorative one. So there was no other Ray done in there. That was the uh, the only few candles in that Christmas selection. I thought I'd have a little look at the mugs as well, just in case there was any Ray done hiding in there or just any really cute designs. A few weird cat and dog ones there. Their usual odd food selection. Always like to look at them. I saw these cute uh, little trays, if you're, if you're having people around, put some bits in there, like some olives and peanuts and things. I just really liked them. The heart plate was cute. I liked this as well. I was thinking if I actually had people around and had parties, I would so get all of these things to <laughs> display my food on. But I don't know why. I just really took a fancy to these. I didn't get any, obviously, because I just don't need them. Some more food bits there. Look at this chocolate pie. Two pound in the sale. Didn't go out of date until the seventh of February either, and I filmed this all on the twelfth of January. Just to have a little look at what they've got there. Um, I was actually looking for some particular cookies. Um, found some odd things in there that I've never found before. These felt disgusting, all squidgy. And there's the cookies I was looking for. So I bought a couple of boxes of these out of the um, Basildon Pips Hill branch. They was on sale, so I got a box of those. They're lovely if you see them. Who needs that much syrup? That's got to be for a store or a cafe, hasn't it? Like, if you if you run a business, who needs that much syrup in their life? It was huge. On sale, though, good price if, if you're a small business and you want to go and get it, if you run, like, a little cafe or something. But yeah, I highly recommend them cookies. I've tried the um, the ones that are in the video and I've tried the s'mores one and I'll show you obviously at the end what else I did get. Tons and tons of food bits on sale. Absolutely tons of it. I found some more mugs in a different section. They normally range between like four and eight pound normally. Just for the singular mugs. Sometimes there's dearer ones in there. But just on an average. Most of the time I find they're around fiver. But again I just thought I'd have a look. Just praying that there would be Easter Ray Dunn ones in there. I did find this lunch bag. twelve ninety nine. They've 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 had that for a while. I think it's been in there the last couple of times I've been in there. Some Christmas mugs on sale. Freeze and five pounds. Loads of Christmas mugs obviously trying to sell them off and get rid of them a few different styles there just to zoom in just to show you just in case you are local and you want to run in and go and grab any of it if it's still there some christmas food on sale here they still had some nice gift sets to be honest um don't know what the expiry dates are on them but good idea to uh, to grab for people if they the expiry date's quite long on them 
I thought I'd have a little look again because they do raid on tea towels, but no luck. They had some Eastery themed bits. Five ninety nine for the oven mitt. I found this uh, Star Wars Disney blanket. It was super, super soft and on sale. They had quite a few of them as well. Silver sparkly one. But again, no ray done. It's all I was looking for. Some Christmas tea towels on sale as well. I did, um, you're going to see it any moment now, I did find a Ray Dunn dog bowl on sale. So the Santa's dog one for £2.50. Um, I did actually grab a couple of them from the Basildon branch. They had this Ray Dunn pen pot. I didn't get it because I haven't really got anything that it would go with like that would affect. These things that I've seen before, I think they're awful. These horrible tin utensil holders or pen holders. I found this one at the back. And it swizzles round as well. It's got four little uh, gaps, swizzles round. But for £10, I thought, oh, I'll let someone else have it because I would just let it sit there and collect dust. Then they had all of these organised boxes, stuff, tidy, all ready done. But for £8 to £11, it's just ridiculous. They're not even sturdy boxes. I would not pay for them. Another swizzly pen holder, but in the tin style. Let's get on to the more important thing, the candles. There's always a big selection in Home Sense. They had these Easter bits, these cute little rabbits. So they've got like incense inside them. They did look really sweet, but I wasn't overly impressed with the collection. It's just all very standard. There wasn't a lot of actual Easter candles and um, more just those sort of shapes that have got incense inside them. French Connection candles. Quite a few different... Still loads of selection in there, but it's just me being fussy because I wanted Easter scents or Valentine's and they just didn't seem to have much of it. They've got... They had quite a few Best Mum candles in there, so that was good. Obviously, if you want to get your mum a little... um, A little gift or as a part of a bigger gift... More of the rabbits. I liked the colour of this one. It was like an iridescent sort of sage green colour. I did like that. I don't know if the incense is wrapped up inside them, but you couldn't actually smell anything. I suppose you have to undo it. A couple of pumpkins still floating around. An iridescent blue Easter egg, again, with like the incense inside it. There we go. Still got the weird bum candles in there that I've probably shown you in my last few videos. I loved the style of these ones. Twelve ninety nine. They was quite hefty as well, quite a big size. I really liked the design on these sand and fog ones. I loved the lids, loved them. They were so, so cute. But I've been told by a couple of people that the sand and frog candles are no good. So I'm hesitant to pay for them, but maybe I should just try them myself. But I didn't on this occasion. They had some mum ones as well, the love hearts, mama bear ones there with the lids. Not a lot of DW, so white lavender there. They had a lot of these like Chesapeake, is that how you say it? Chesapeake Bay ones. Lots of different sizes. Again, I was going to grab one of them. I don't know why I didn't. They had a few different sizes in them as well. I just don't think there was one. Like, I took the lid off and I did smell them and it smelt really strong, but obviously not appealing enough for me to actually grab one in the end and these ones that are in the tins they smell absolutely amazing but for 15 quid I just didn't want to pay out for one I was just I was on the hunt for here we go some valentines this is what I wanted I wanted valentines and easter that's why I was hesitant to buy any others love the lid on that very very few um DW's in there on this occasion which normally there's tons but hardly any so had that white lavender one more sand and fog with the cute little lids and more I liked this one with the little bunny on top so iridescent pink and then they've got one next to it without a bunny on top I found this DW hiding behind the back 
and another one up here, True Love and Be Mine. So both of those are DWs. This one's got the cute lid on it again. I think that was the only DW I saw. So it's only like three or four cents there. I didn't have a proper, proper dig through, but normally you, you can see by obviously the branding on them. But they had some more Ray Dunn here, like the baskets there. So they had nest ones and singular ones. They they was between ten and fifth uh ten and twenty pound depending on if you bought like the uh depending on what size there was different sizes some of them were sets of two. Again, I really liked these, but I just thought I haven't got anything. I'm just gonna end up putting rubbish in them, but they are in there if anyone wants them. Quite a few of them as well. And of course, TK Maxx is just across the road. So of course, I was going to go and have a quick look in there. Um, Home Sense is normally better for the um, candles and that, but you never know. So let's go in and have a quick look. I thought we'd have a look. I thought this was Ray Dunn. It looks really like Ray Dunn, but it was not on sale, but wasn't Ray Dunn. I thought it was. They had some Ralph Lauren bags in there machino bags lots and lots on sale that's why i'm saying it's a bit of a weird time of year to go that crossover between them trying to sell off christmas stuff the candle selection was so so poor the weird bum candles again just feel like no one wants the bums get rid of them dw candle i did find as well buried behind here another ray dunn candle but it wasn't on sale None of the Christmas candles in TK Maxx were on sale like they was in Home Sense. If this one would have been on sale, I would have bought it. Um, a couple of wood wicks there, twelve ninety nine. Another Chesapeake Bay one. This was one that I was going to get because it was just a Diddy one. I thought, oh yeah, three ninety nine, give it a go. And then I just didn't grab one for some reason. I don't know. I just must have been concentrating too much on doing my video. I know my phone battery was dying. I was panicking. But yeah, very, literally a quarter of the selection in here compared to what Home Sense had. S loads of these incense sort of shapes as well. Lots of different styles. But yeah, not, not a great selection. I wanted either DW or um, Valentine's or Easter. They had some of these Ray Dunn softer bag storage as well. The other ones were like that hard metal, but these ones were nice and soft and then they had just started getting the easter bits out in tk maxx as well so there was more easter in tk maxx but then there was more candles in home sense they had these cute little ornaments again i just don't know what you're going to do with them where are you going to hang them people don't just have like easter trees do they is this something i don't know about Loads of them. They had some bunny ears, some more reefs there, but smaller ones. They had these really cute little um, fake grass little bunnies for decoration if you wanted them. Some of the decorative eggs again, that cute chick. A few different bits there. Um, walked over here and they had some Easter gonks. People just love a gonk. So many different style gonks. They had these cute, quirky rabbit teddies. I do really like those. They do normally have them every year. Some little sort of gardeny ornament bits. Normal. I'm, I'm hoping they still get more. I just don't feel like this is a lot compared to last year. But again, I'm probably too early. I just don't want to miss out on anything. This I really liked this. I really took a liking to him. They had a few of those as well. Some more of the different style um, bunny teddies. Some smaller ones there as well. And mice for some reason. Nice little ornaments there. That's what they normally have loads of. That sort of style. And over here. I was just letting a lady pass me. So over here we've got obviously the Easter Llama. Who doesn't know about the Easter Llama? Um, and then we had bigger extendable gonks as well. So floor standing. Okay, so I'm back. Um, it's been a couple of days since I went to TK Maxx and Home Sense. Um, I went on the 13th of January, just in case you wanted to know for seeing if you can get any of the bits that I showed you. This video probably won't go out for maybe a week or a week and a bit after I've been to TK Maxx. Um, so just to let you know, in case you saw anything in the video you want to go and try and get. 
um, it was the 13th of January that I went. So just to give you an idea, today's now the 15th that I'm filming the haul video. So just wanted to show you what I got. It wasn't great for candles, to be honest. They had a lot of choice, but they was all very like generic ones that they have all year. And I'd really gone there just looking for um, Valentine's and Easter. I still think I'm a bit early. I think they're still trying to sell off old Halloween and Christmas stock. Um, but you've got to be quick sometimes because the DWs, the Ray Duns, if they get like Halloween ones in um, Halloween, well, wrong time of year. Um, if they get Valentine's ones in and if they get Easter ones in, then they go really quick, especially the Ray Dunn ones, which is why I'm trying not to miss out and I'm trying to get there as quick as I can to see. But I was still a bit too early. So I'll show you what I got anyway. Um, and we'll get onto the couple of candles that I bought. So... I know you probably just want to see the candles, but there was only a couple. So I'll show you what else I got as well, just in case you like these things and you want to go TK Maxx and, or HomeSense and get yourself a couple. So I got this canvas like makeup bag, pencil case. Um, it was £5.99. It's not for me. It's for a friend. Her birthday is in May um, and she loves cows. And I just saw this and I thought, perfect. So I'll put that away. Um, I did also get chocolate pie because it just looked too good and for two pound it doesn't go out of date until the start of february it's still got like a good three weeks left on it but i thought it looked really good and spoiler alert it was really good as you can see i have eaten half of it um it's been a couple of days me and my wrath have got through half of it so far really liked it i think it was only supposed to be looks like it was 3.99 before two pound in the sale really nice it had a little bit of like an orangey taste to it um, but it was mainly just a chocolate sort of Madeira cake that we have here in England, like that Madeira-y taste. Um, I did also spend some of my Christmas money. Um, so I got some money for Christmas and obviously I've already bought a couple of candles out of it. But I then got myself this bracelet. So you can see there it's got like the pearls and the gold on it. Um, it says it's made in Italy, 18 karat gold plated sterling silver. Um, and it was £13 in the sale. So, not that I needed it, but Christmas money. And I was a little bit naughty. But again, it's out of Christmas money, so I'm justifying it. <laughs> I'm justifying the spend. I did get the Love Machino um, shoulder bag. So they had the larger size in there as well. Um, but these are sort of the size bags that I always use. Um, and it was, um, it was, it was £56 in the sale and I did lift the tag up underneath when I got home to see how much it was so I could tell you. It was supposed to be £70, RRP £150. So it's meant to be £150 if you bought it from Love Machino. TK Maxx put it down to £70 and then they had it in the sale for £56. This was the last shoulder one in there, but they did have five or six of the larger size that I showed you in the video. Again, I didn't need that, but... Christmas money, that was my excuse. Um, so what else did I get? I also, this was the only Easter ornament that I bought. I just thought it was really cute. Um, I really liked just the black and the white with a bit of gold because it then just goes with my decor in my kitchen really good. Um, he was £4.99. And to be honest, all the other Easter stuff they had in there wasn't really appealing to me yet. Obviously, I'm hoping they do get a lot more out. I'm really hoping we get some Ray Dunn Easter stuff. Like even if it's the canisters, the mugs, um, I have just bought myself a Ray Dunn Easter mug um, through Facebook from another collector that was selling on. So, you know now I've got that as soon as it turns up that TK Maxx and HomeSense will start bringing them out for £5 and £10. And I've ended up paying 25 quid with postage for one. Um, but yeah, we'll see. But just in case they don't bring them out, I know I've got one. So I'm going to do myself a little Ray Dunn display. But yeah, this was the only little guy that I got. He was cute. He was cheap. I liked him. Um, right, so there's one more non-candle related thing and then I'll show you the two candles I got. I don't know why I got this. I've been obsessed with having a teapot for ages. I love tea, English. I have tea every morning for work throughout the day. I work from home, so I do have a lot of tea. And I just always thought, why don't I have a teapot? Because then I don't have to keep boiling the kettle, just make two or three cups of tea at once. And I saw this, it was just really, really, I really liked it. It was really cute. So it's not in the box at the moment. So tea for one, because obviously I work at home on my own. Um, it was £14.99. So I liked it because you get the matching mug and the teapot together. And I have got it out here. If I try not to uh, drop it. How cute is that? 
I really liked it. I don't know why. It just appealed to me straight away. I loved the colours of it. So then obviously you've got the teapot and you've got the mug. So it makes the it does say like how much it feels, and obviously with milk, um it you probably get two cups of tea out of the little teapot into that. So I thought that's enough. I normally only have a couple a day. Um, and then if like if I do want any of an evening, take that upstairs, you can have two cups of tea. So that was my really unnecessary purchase. Really didn't need that. At least the bracelet in the bag, I'll use that all the time. I can probably already envision myself putting this teapot away and using it once or twice and it won't get used again, but I'll try my best. So, candles. Candles, candles. Why we're here, candles. So, not a lot of choice. I bought the Be Mine from DW Home. So I did really like the True Love red one that I showed you in the video as well, but bear with me on why I didn't get that one. So first of all, look at the lid on it. I don't know if you can even appreciate how nice of a lid that is, because you're not getting the... It's like it's got a really nice thick gloss, like resin over the top of it, and then it's got glitter in there. I just really, really liked the lid. It really appealed to me. The lid on the um, True Love one was basically the same. But yeah, I just really liked it. And it was one of the only DWs they had in there. So it was $7.99 for this one. Um, and what is this? So it's Peony, Garden Rose and Sunny Marigold. And it's got little love letters up there. Nice gold metallic shine on there. Um, and this is 8.6 ounces. So quite a heavy one. Um, see what it's like. It's quite strong on cold when I take the lid off, so hopefully it's a good one. Now, the reason I did not get the um, True Love one, you saw it in the video, and I had to have it because I loved the jar. I had to get this one. I didn't think it was a DW at first. I just really liked the jar, but then I thought, oh, I'm not going to get a random brand. Um, I'll get the True Love and the Be Mine DW Home. And then I looked on the bottom... And it says Charming Farmhouse by DW Home. So it is another DW Home um, branch off, another one from their collection. Chocolate covered strawberries. So the reason I didn't then get the True Love one was because that was mainly a chocolate scent as well. I'm not sure if it was chocolate strawberries, but they was too similar. I thought there's no point getting two that are basically the same. This one was bigger. I really liked the style of the jar. Again, I thought I could keep this decorative if I wanted to for Valentine's Day. So it's got like the cute, I don't know if you can see that on there because the shine, like the little cute ingredients of chocolate strawberries. And this one was $8.99. Does it say the weight on the bottom? 12.2 ounces. So really cute two candles there. Valentine's Eve, no Easter. I know they had the sand and fog Easter candles, but oh, I don't know. I do need to try them, but because I've been told bad things about them, I just don't want to spend the money on them. But maybe I do need to give them a go and just try for myself. But we'll see. Maybe in the future, if I'm a bit low on what candles to try, or if you guys do want me to review the sand and fog, let me know down below. Because um, I suppose if you see them in TK Maxx and Home Sense all the time, you want to know if they're good. Um, but it's just because I've, I think they've been around in there for ages and there's always so many of them and they never seem to really sell. So <laughs> mm, let me know if you want me to review them. I'll go and get a couple, but I'm a bit hesitant because I know that there's other ones that people prefer more like Yankee Candles and DWs, Bath and Body Works. So I prefer to spend my money out on those ones first. But hopefully this one's going to be really nice. So Obviously, oh, it says pair this candle with fresh baked goods. So maybe I'll have to bake something while I've got this on the go. But it's got the nice cork lid on it as well. Single wick. I think the as soon as you open it, it just stinks of chocolate. Absolutely stinks. I, I think it will be a strong one. A lot of like the newer Yankee candles, the DW Homes, the Bath and Body Works, whenever they've got chocolate scents in them, they always seem to perform really well. So I will let you know. Um, and yeah, that one was a single wick as well. So I will burn these by the wick. I won't be putting them under the lamp unless they perform terribly and um, just to try and give them a second chance. But I'll give it a go, see how I get on. But yeah, just these two on this occasion. And I'll go back in there again soon and see if I can get any others. 
but as always thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed my little uh, walk around tk maxx and home sense let me know if um your local home sense or tk maxx starts getting in any ray dunn or any easter candles by dw home or anything sort of related along them lines and i'll get some new reviews out for you soon